I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, a Chattanooga man has pleaded guilty to knowingly infecting his pregnant ex-wife with HIV. 50-year-old James T. Hutchins had also been arrested for infecting someone else with HIV in 1999. He's been sentenced to four years of supervised probation and zero contact with the victim. Funeral arrangements have been set for the 16-year-old Baylor student who died during swim practice. Sumner Smith passed away after an apparent cardiac event. A memorial service will be held at the school's alumni chapel at 1 p.m. Saturday and streamed live on Baylor's website. Visitations will be held from 2 to 7 today at Robin Smith's home and from 4 to 7 Friday at Jerry Smith's home. Volkswagen is canceling all of its 2016 diesel models in the U.S. Analysts say the move suggests the fix may be so challenging that the company is giving up on its entire lineup for the next year. The value of Volkswagen diesel cars in the U.S. has already fallen. Resale prices have dropped about 13 percent. Volkswagen says it will launch a recall for affected cars in January. Fixes could take until the end of 2016. Meanwhile, the company has named a new chairman for its board of directors, Hans Dieter Putsch. Governor Bill Haslam visited VW's Chattanooga plant on Wednesday to encourage workers. He says he still has confidence in the company. Wide receiver Pig Howard has been dismissed from the Tennessee Vols. Coach Butch Jones says Howard violated team rules, but he refused to elaborate. Howard led the Vols in receiving in 2013 and 2014. He was previously suspended from this year's season opener for violating team rules as well. A bill that would allow military to carry firearms at recruitment centers is one step closer to becoming law. Representative Scott Desjardins introduced the bill in response to the July 16th shootings in Chattanooga. It's now passed both the Senate and the House. However, President Obama has repeatedly said the act will be vetoed. Gannett has purchased all but one of Tennessee's major newspapers. The company is buying Journal Media Group, which owns the Knoxville News Sentinel and the Memphis Commercial Appeal. Gannett already owns newspapers in Nashville, Murfreesboro, Jackson, and Clarksville. It's paying $280 million to buy 14 newspapers. Analysts say layoffs are expected. Finally, Hamilton County Commissioners blew through $95,000 in less than 12 minutes Tuesday night. Hardly any discussion took place as they voted to approve each other's pet project spending. The discretionary money went to repairing parks, supporting nonprofits, and helping the Orange Grove Center. Commissioners took the money from the county's savings fund earlier this year. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 82 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 62. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesfreepress.com.